There was days that we would go back and I'd be like, Look at me, I have a bottle of water in the back. <laughs> Why are you draining so much blood out of him? Are you a vampire? Congrats on this movie. Thank you. Elle. It's so much fun. Thank you. I had such a good time watching it. Um, mm -hmm. What was the most surprising thing for you about working with Michael Bay? He's known as this madman of action. <laughs> was there anything that surprised you? <laughs> yeah, I think that getting to know Michael was the most surprising part because he is such like, a, he will hate me for saying this, but he's such a kid. He's like a kid. He, I mean, the other day we were in Berlin and he was, he, he's such a geek. Like he was showing us this video of him at the beach pretending like he's, cracking his neck, but he had a bottle of water in the back. And he's like, look at me, I have a bottle of water in the back. <laughs> like, he's such a child. He's like, I like to throw things out of the window when I was little. He's just always, he's such a mischievous child in this daunting, terrifying body named Michael Bay. And, uh, and it's really funny because when we started filming, I was kind of scared and obviously terrified of, of because he has a very strong personality. And we gave, we had a round, we had a big round on like week two where we went at each other at our throats and we went really hard. And from there on, we got along incredible and we just started, because we felt comfortable to talk to each other and and he really respects someone that has input and, and an idea and he respects actors that really care about their craft because he really, really, really cares. That's what I've realized. He really cares intimately about his projects and he believes in the movie magic that it's like that old school sort of don't think about it, just have fun. Like movies are about to have fun. A lot of things are not gonna make sense, but that's part of like the fun of movies and yeah. don't think too much about it. And that was sort of fun to get on that path, you know, because sometimes you just sort of become, this would be real, or you get too serious about certain things. It's like a fun action movie. What was your spat over? Something I did. I was like frustrated because I, listen, I felt a lot of pressure to bring to life a paramedic that felt real. Mm -hmm. In the time that we're living, I mean, first responders have been dedicating their lives fully, I mean, forever, obviously, but more than ever, it's very transparently obvious what they are bringing to our society. And so... I just didn't want to make a, a, a joke or a cartoon version of who they were. I really wanted to like level up and bring a, something that would feel proud of. So I was very vocal about certain things that I didn't feel like it would be right. And then he'd be like, just let me do it. Like, trust me. And so we would butt heads a lot. But, you know, that's part of the creative process. It's like sort of speaking up about what your thoughts are and then, and then finding a common ground. Yeah, Jake was telling me like he would... Michael would just like shout things that he should say and Jake said he was like I would go home and be like what did I say on did I just today? say yeah that happened to us a lot there also had a scene I mean there was a moment so you understand how massively insane this movie making was was uh, there was a scene where we're talking about his wife and his kid in the front of the ambulance it's a very dramatic scene and Michael decided that day and that scene that he wanted to shoot simultaneously in the back with Jake improvising scenes and lines. So we are in this emotional scene where he's kind of crying over his wife and, and, and her disease. And then Jake is in the back screaming, why are you draining so much blood out of him? Are you a vampire? Like just dumb lines. And we were like, what is going on, you guys? We're in this, and we're going around in circles in the convention center, just circles. So we're dizzy at this point. We're going, it was just, there was days that we would go back and I'd be like, what just happened? For yeah. six hours, I have no idea what I just did. And you can feel that, like the chaos <laughs> when you're watching the movie too. I really want to know, like, I don't know if you have any idea the amount of vehicles that were destroyed making this movie. Michael, oh my God, you can't. You can't take Michael Bay out of an action film, can yeah. you? Like, he can't help himself. I mean, I will say that, surprisingly, there's less explosions in this movie than usual Michael Bay movie, yeah. which I think is really helping a Rotten Tomatoes score. <laughs> but, uh, it's getting think, really great. Yeah, it's getting We're, good reviews. Yeah. But I think that um, a lot of cars, and you know, it's really cool to see. He's, he's a, listen, when it comes to action, no one does it like Michael Bay. Yeah. I have mad respect for people. You know, he started in the times that it wasn't as easy. He didn't have the access to things that people have. And he always was a stylized director. And people talk about auteurs. And Jake says it quite a lot. He's a, an action film auteur. Like, you watch a Michael Bay movie and you can recognize it from a mile away. And people love them. And they're entertaining. And they're fun. And the way that he works with his crew is like, 
He has everyone on lockdown from cars to stuntees. So it's really impressive to work with a team like that because it's like the military for film. Like they, everyone knows a role and everyone's working simultaneously in the best way possible. And it's quite impressive. It's one of the most impressive teams I've ever gotten to work with. I wish I had 20 more minutes with you, but I have to leave. You're so lovely. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much. So good talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.